So if you're new to QGIS, you might agree that this program can be a little intimidating and confusing when you first jump into it. So in today's video, I wanna share a few tips with you that I found helpful when I began my journey learning this program. And if you enjoy this type of content, I would urge you to go subscribe, turn on notifications, as we're gonna be putting out weekly QGIS tips and tricks. I wanna start off with probably the most helpful tip, which is how to access the help documentation. So you can simply go up here to the menu and go to help, help contents, or you can use keyboard shortcut F1 to take you directly to the site here. Now, if you're new to the world of GIS as well, you can scroll down on the left side here and select this gentle introduction to GIS. I found this to be incredibly helpful when I was wanting to learn more about GIS. One of the first things you might notice when jumping into this program is there's no existing map. To get around this, go down to the coordinate system box down here and simply type in the word world and hit enter. And this is gonna add an existing geo package. It's actually on your local drive. When you install QGIS, this geo package is installed as well. This little hand tool allows you to pan the map around. You can simply click and drag to pan it around, or you can just use your arrow keys to move it around. And then I have the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in and out, so I can zoom in, zoom out. But you'll notice that it's zooming pretty far for my taste. Maybe I wanna have something in between here, a little more finer detail. For that, simply hold the control or command key as you zoom in, and it's gonna give you a little bit um, smaller zoom movements. And on the opposite end of that, if you wanna go crazy, you can hold the shift key as you're zooming, and it's just gonna you know, go crazy and do faster movements, bigger movements. Now let's say I've gone way too far in or way too far out and I don't know where my map is anymore. Well, to zoom back to the full view of your map, do keyboard shortcut Control Shift F and that'll zoom it and snap it back. I love it. I can see the layers panel here and the browser panel here. Now if I wanna customize this, I can simply click and drag and then start to move this one. You see it undocked this. So if I wanna dock it again, I can click and drag it over here. And as I move it around the browser panel, you can see that adjust as I move it. So now I can put layers above browser or I can simply put it on top of the browser and that's gonna make these basically set up as tabs. I can grab the tabs here. If I wanna change it again, I just click and drag it out again. Now see, I'm not a big fan of this. Now I have to come in here and grab right here and pull this down, but you see it's not very easy to tell. So one option that I have is I can go up here to settings and I can go down to options and under general, there's a few different things I can customize here, like the style, the UI theme, things like icon size and font, and then there's a handful of different parameters down here so I can make adjustments to basically telling QGIS how I want it to act. So I'm gonna go over here to style, I'm gonna change it to this fusion, and under UI theme, let's first try night mapping. And when I click OK, you'll notice that nothing changes. That's because I need to actually restart QGIS for these changes to take effect. Okay, this one's already looking much better, easier to navigate here with the titles centered up in the panel, and I can kind of tell a little bit, it's a little bit easier. Now, if any point you regret your decision, if you accidentally made some icons too small or too large, or the font, you know, you messed something up, you can always go back to settings, options, and then under system, you go right here, and under settings, you can reset the user interface to the default settings, just click this, and once again, you'll need to restart for that to take effect. So if you look at the top of my UI right now, I currently have three rows of all of these different symbols. Some are grayed out, some are active, but as a new QGIS user, I don't know what any of these are, and it's quite confusing, and it takes up a lot of real estate. So this is the toolbar, and it's not just a toolbar, it's actually a collection of a bunch of little toolbars. And you can customize this and turn off the visibility of some of them to give you some more real estate, and just basically focus on the tools you will be actually using. So to do that, you simply right click on any row in an open area, and this is gonna show you both the active panels as well as toolbars down here. And currently under the night mapping theme, it shows me what's active or visible via an underlined little symbol here. So to turn these off, I can simply click on them. For, like, for example, I'll turn off help. I can go and turn off digitizing and just customize this to really you know, free up some real estate here. So you can see I've opened up a lot of screen real estate here, which is nice, especially if you're working on a laptop. All of these tools are still accessible via these drop-down menus, and I can re-add them to my toolbar as I start to learn this symbology. Now let's say I wanna grab an individual country of our world map here. 
Well, first go to View and then go down to Toolbars and grab the Selection Toolbar. I'm gonna grab the Select Features tool here and now I can come over and that's gonna allow me to select these individual features here. Now, if you'd like to grab a feature and also see its attributes, let me show you how to do that. Right click in your toolbar and then go select your attribute toolbar. And then right here you have this little tool which is called identify features. I'm gonna click on this. And now if we go over here and grab one of these again, it's gonna bring up this identify results panel here. And now I can see the attributes. Now, if you'd like to see the attribute table for the entire layer, simply right click on the layer and then go open attribute table. And now I can full screen this. Plugins are a big part of QGIS, so it's really important to understand how to find them and how to install them, which is actually quite simple. Go up here to the Plugins drop-down menu and select Manage and Install Plugins. And then here you're going to see a plethora of plugins available. You can also filter by ones that are already installed, not installed. I'm going to just do a keyword search. Let's say we want to have a new base map. And I'm going to go ahead and grab this one here, which is actually already installed. It's called Quick Map Services. It's one of the most popular, most downloaded plugins of all time. Right here it shows you over 5 million downloads. This is an easy to use list of services and search for finding data sets and base maps. Once this is added, I can go ahead and select it here and it's going to allow me to add all kinds of different things like, for example, I could just quickly add this Google satellite imagery. I can go over here and add Bing satellite imagery. Now, speaking of plugins, we have our own plugin, which is called Add to Felt, which allows you to share your QGIS maps to the web and collaborate with colleagues seamlessly. It's very easy. I have a standalone video showing you how to work with that one, so just be sure to go down to the link in the video description to check that out. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this list of useful tips for QGIS newbies. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, activate notifications, and if I left out any tips that you think it's just criminal that I didn't mention them, please leave that down in the comment section as I'd love to hear any suggestions and I'd like to learn more about QGIS. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.